Coldplay and In My Place on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais. With me, Steve Merchant. Hello Steve, there. Hello, lovely to be here. Carl Pilgrim there, pressing the buttons. Great to be here. Yeah. How long can you maintain it? I'm bored already. Yeah, already bored of doing bored it. Bored already. Every week you start it the same way. Yeah. That was not bad though, you actually grammatically made sense. Which is really? uh, impressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks so, very much. A rare treat indeed from yeah. Digimace. Um, some of the uh, listeners have already worked out, uh, got nothing to say at all. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Haven't prepared again. <laughs> no. We were, we, we did come in half hour early to prepare, but instead me and Carl were playing, you had to flick the football into the bin, right. we had five goes each, or the world was gonna end. Okay. And that, that took up... That took up a good twenty-five minutes. Yeah. I liked it when we came back and then we started just trying to beat each other in the corridor and I beat him, I scored a goal, he, he was gutted because he thought he, was, he fancied himself at football and I beat him. Um, mm. and I was knackered and sweating. Yeah. Um, and, uh, as I walked back to you about five minutes ago, you were looking through the records, you went, and this was lovely, you went, <sighs> Well, we've done the preparation then. Uh, yeah. Like a sarcastic teacher. Yeah. Like a teenager, like an annoyed <laughs> teenager. <laughs> yeah. Whose parents have embarrassed him once again. <laughs> and you beat Carl, did you? Yeah. Because you're not. Yeah. I mean, you're not particularly. I'm not good at football. Well, no. you're not particularly nimble on your feet. Oh, come no, on. No, you're not. Douglas Spader is um, more nimble. I'm all right. I'm you're all not. right. But it, Carl's sort of, I think, has got more skills than me, but he hasn't got the aggression and the sure. weight. Yeah. Yeah. So I just yeah. pushed him aside. Yeah, good work. Yeah. Good work. I'm going on holiday. Are you? Yeah, we're not, I'm not here next week. What are you gonna do, Carl? Are you gonna do the best of or something next week, aren't you? Yeah, that's what we've got to sort out. Well, I we can't sort it out. I've literally, I've, I've got to go to the airport. No, no, through. straight after the show you've got to do some links. No, so. I'm not doing any links. I said I wouldn't, so... That's we... what we planned. No, we didn't. I said I'd do some during the show, and then you I could... thought you were joking. I, I, I honestly can't do it today, so we do some during the show. What are you gonna do? Just put the shows that we've done in this year? Sorry, guys, uh, I hate to interrupt. This uh, is the sort of stuff we should have been discussing <laughs> when you were playing football. <laughs> I know. Play a record. What are you going to play? play Let's a have a bit of Foo Fighters. Okay. Let's just yeah. discuss this off there. Okay. Foo Fighters there, learning to fly. Steve, I hope the pilot that I get today flying the plane that I'm going on holiday in has already learned to fly. <laughs> oh! <laughs> well done. That is dynamite. That's, so, te that's a textbook link. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. genius. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Yeah. Where, where are you going? Where, yeah. what, what's the story? Yeah. Where are you off to? Uh, Sorrento. Where's that? Uh, sort of South Italy. Italy. Yeah. What are you like on holiday? Are you a nightmare? Are you the, no. like... No. Well, what Because you're quite... Right but you're quite... I mean, obviously, I, you know, I've often said on the radio before that I... I mean, I'm... Spending any length of time with you is, is, is one of the most unbearable <laughs> things I've ever had to do. <laughs> I mean, spending a week with you is nightmarish, and sharing any kind of accommodation is... Do you know what I mean? No, seriously, I mean, it's like... It's like <laughs> hell. It's like li a living hell. <laughs> it's like having a teenager... Fine. No, just do... It's like having know. a sort of teenage kid who can, can't be entertained by anything. I just chill out. Just yeah, chill you out. just chill out, dude. Just Is max it? relax. Yeah, max relax. Yeah, yeah. sure, sure. And do you, and so if you're in somewhere like Italy, like somewhere like that, because obviously a very beautiful city mm. and very mm. cultured and stuff, mm. <laughs> mm. So, yeah. Mm. Is that something that you enjoy? Do you enjoy the culture of that, the, the beautiful architecture, let's say? A hotel's the same anywhere. Because as long as there's <laughs> right. room service and a nice room in Paul and it's, n it's nice weather. Sure. If it's not, I'm annoyed. Yeah, yeah, And yeah, I need yeah. to blame someone. And is it true that you go, because you go to Italy most years, don't you? Is that because that's the only food you like I eating? like, I like pasta and pizza, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and I've, I've been to other places. I went to France once and that you can't explain to them to cook it prop- just cook <laughs> it properly. I don't want any- to cook yeah, it. If yeah. there's blood in the middle of that. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, Hungary, there was- it was just, oh, I went there for a while and I didn't know- I couldn't identify the animals right, they were killing for me. Yeah. So, and yeah. I know quite a lot about natural history. Sure. And I couldn't identify what was on the plate, yeah. so I don't- Came I'm a bit early, squeamish. did you ask for a couple of days? No, I just got, I got annoyed and I- well, I, I went to McDonald's. Yeah. Well, that's um, the great thing about McDonald's is they are in most exactly. major cities. No, yeah. but I, you, can't, I, you can't go wrong with so pasta and So if I was with you on pizza. holiday and I- you know, and we were- we were hanging out or whatever. Yeah. Um, and I took you to say maybe a, a beautiful cathedral. Is that yeah. something you'd enjoy? I can't quite imagine you actually taking well, the time to- Well, as long as- as long as it's not a very long walk, we don't have to stay there more than a couple of minutes, I'd, lo I'd <laughs> love to look around places. <laughs> right, so you would- yeah. you'd look at the cathedral. Yeah. That's taken, you know, that's- that takes people breath- you know, takes people's breath away, you know, yeah. people travel from around the world to see that. You would- yeah. and how long would you stay- I don't stay travel around the world to see it. I think they go somewhere sure. and they go, well, and we they, might as well look at the cathedral, you can't the miss it, they're huge. Yeah. <laughs> and would you- and would you, uh, would you sort of spend any time looking at that? Would you just sort of soak in the atmosphere for a moment or you would you- I'd look at it and I'd go, that's brilliant, and then yeah. if there was any sort of soaking in, I can do that later when there's nothing to look at. <laughs> right, what there's you'd to do. Your memory of it later when you're in the bar. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure, you can sure. sort of, you know, uh, And would you, um, so can, uh, can you be kind of in awe of something like that? Yeah, the well, well, if, if, if it's big, okay, if I, if I go in the cathedral and it's, 
and it's, I've seen bigger, I go, oh, seen bigger. <laughs> if sure. it's the biggest one I've seen, I go, that is huge. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> that lets you off. Yeah. Sure, because you are, you're a sort of man who gets bored, and this is true, Carl, you may not be the film this. Ricky Gervais is a man who gets bored drinking a glass of water. It's boring. Because it's not flavoursome enough. No. It's not, it's I, not I, got enough flavour. It's, it's absolute or, uh, the only thing, uh, Jane's got me onto fizzy water, which at least got something there. Right. Uh, but I only drink that when I'm sort of dehydrated in the middle of the night. I never, there's no, I never drink a drink of water. No. It's, it is boring. Yeah, yeah. Well, but that's why you've always got headaches. And you're always apparently, yeah. moaning and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And that's part of, another, one of the reasons I hate you. Uh, is in it? A, in, in, in a, but when I, I don't, when I say hate you, I don't mean I hate you. I didn't mean Do to, you I, I didn't mean to blur it out that like, strongly. <laughs> uh, yeah. What I mean is, if I'm spending a lot of time with you, <laughs> once what he said, you. Well, we're in the BBC canteen and I was sort of like, and he just put his, I thought, I said, I'm never eating with you again. I said, what's the matter? He said, you annoy me. You, I hate eating with you. It annoys me. You've got, it looks like a child food. It's just, you eat chips and sausage and rubbish. You don't eat, look at you, you don't touch your vegetables, you don't drink water. He said, you, I, he really got well, annoyed. Because you, you, you've got this, like, the, this hatred of anything that's good for you. You won't eat any form of salad. You just- Why do I eat salad? Because it's good for you and Lettuce is boring. Lettuce is absolutely boring. Um, uh, cucumber are boring. But, you know? but, yeah, but the thing is, you see, I admit that lettuce and cucumber have not got much flavour, but that's why people will add, say, a in Italy, they'll add a lovely dressing. Yeah. Maybe yeah. some olive oil, maybe some balsamic vinegar. Well, you embarrass yourself, because the good thing about a nice, mature lump of cheddar cheese <laughs> is you don't have to have any dressing. <laughs> Although you add some anyway. I put a little you bit of olive oil in it and maybe some mayonnaise. mayonnaise. Maybe but, some, uh, you know, and dressing. On a Ritz cracker, you don't need it, it's just extra. Sure, sure. Well, good luck. I notice you're wearing the- is this your travelling gear? You've got the sweatpants and the, yeah. the t-shirt, the free t-shirt. Yeah. Looking to get an upgrade, are you? Or? I'm- I'm going first class, anyway. Sure. Mm. Badly drawn boy, spitting in the wind on XFM. 104.9. Are you going to be taking in any of what? the, uh, culture in Italy? Is yeah. that something you do? Yeah. The well, opera? Uh, I don't know the about opera. the opera. I've never been to the opera. Uh, I do like a, you know, you a like bit of opera. opera. Yeah, not, I wouldn't sit through a whole one, but I mean, I like, I like the songs they take from it for that World Cup one. <laughs> And those two fat birds that they sung in Shawshank Redemption was good. Yes. But, um, I think, yeah. uh, you know, I, I, I haven't gone into it extensively. I haven't studied the <laughs> art. <laughs> the art of opera. Also, it's in foreign, so you don't really know what's happening. It's in foreign. Yeah. yeah. So you don't know That's that. annoying for you. Yeah. yeah. What about, are you, a, are you a fan of any of the great English operas? <laughs> like, um, The Pirates of Penzance? <laughs> yeah. Gilbert <laughs> and Sullivan. <laughs> to me, Gilbert and Sullivan were like, the probably, their- their day equivalent of, like, Richard Stilgo getting together with Tony Slattery. <laughs> and then, a hundred years later, people go, it's brilliant. It- it is like- they might as well, um, I don't know, make th any- any episode of Whose Line Is It Anyway? Right, yeah. Into an opera, and in two hundred years' time, they'll be going, that's genius. Yeah. Listen to this one, look, this is Party Quirks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Amdram Society is staging <laughs> yeah, World yeah. Worst Step. <laughs> Because oh. I was, well, I was in oh. the Pirates of Penzance once in an amateur production. You used to like Whose Lines It Anyway. I did, that was Although the I did watch scenes. it when it first came on Channel 4 about yeah. 15, 20 years ago. But we, um, we did the Pirates of Penzance when I was in an amateur dramatic society in Bristol. Uh, the Bristol Operatic Society, Light Operatic Society. I don't know why I was involved, because I can't sing. My audition, <laughs> I thought, this is how desperate they were for blokes. I swear to God, right, I can't sing, you know. Who are you? I, yeah. Well, Alright, calm down. And, um, <laughs> I, uh, I went in and they said, so what are you gonna sing? I went, uh, well, I, I just, I don't, I, I wanna surprise you. They said, do you want a piano accompaniment? I said, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I went to the back, I swear to God, I went to the back of the room and I just sang, Thumbelina, Thumbelina, <laughs> tiny little thing, Thumbelina dance, Thumbelina sing, Thumbelina, what's the difference if you're very small? Cause when your heart is full of love, you're six feet tall. I just did that. And they just looked at me like I was the weirdest <laughs> freak they'd ever had. Oh. Immediately put me in the chorus, because they, that oh. was how desperate they were for blokes. We yeah. staged it, we rehearsed it. I couldn't remember the lyrics. <laughs> Thank God you were doing Thumbelina. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but dear. I couldn't, I couldn't, um, I, you know, I couldn't remember the lyrics. What for was it for? Was it Gilbert and Sullivan? It was, it was the Pirates of Penzance. Oh. There weren't enough blokes, right, so that we had to double up. So some of the pirates <laughs> had to double up as the policemen who were chasing the pirates. A little bit problematic in the scene when the policemen and the pirates have a fight. <laughs> that was a little bit tricky. 
<laughs> and the worst thing, so there's this sequence where, like, the, the, sort of the daughters of the Major General all kind of like, oh, beautiful, something like, you know, um, oh, beautiful little girls are we, da la 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 And the women they had, they must have all been over 40. I mean, <laughs> real kind of oh. toothless crones oh. creeping around in their nighties. Is it the sort of women that buy one of those sort of porcelain dolls? <laughs> from the yeah. go, Look, I've had a baby. It's not a real baby. <laughs> it is a real baby. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna stab you. Yeah. One of those. Exactly. It's the sort of women that you'd see maybe on, uh, TV's Bargain Hunt. <laughs> 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 you know, the kind of contestants you get on there. Those are women who, who sort of, they're in Amdram and they, they think they've clung on to their looks, but oh. they'd have never made it in, in, uh, the guy who was playing the, uh, there's a guy who's supposed to be an 18 year old prince, uh, an 18 year old pirate, uh, the pirate king. He must have been 40 <laughs> things a day. He also directed the show though, <laughs> so he got to prance around in these thigh high boots. <laughs> Ludicrous. It was so <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> it was shameful, really. I'd I love to go to Amdram. Amdram is a whole other world. It's just, it's <laughs> such an incredible place. Because there's so much backbiting and envy and. Really? Oh, it's incredible. I mean, it's worse than the real world of theatre and TV. It's unbelievable. Because the same old people get to do it every year because they can hold a note. Can it's, we go along? You would absolutely adore it, Javis. It Just is film it a secret camera. Have you ever done the, in, a, in a play, Pilk? We know this. Carl, you've, uh, you've performed it. Just did the, uh, the talent show, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, the talent show, yeah. Remind us of the talent and, show. Uh, that's when I did, uh, Walk Like an Egyptian, dressed up as a woman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, did me magic trick. Oh, that's that, is it an egg? The egg one. Yeah. Um. What was the egg one again? When I, uh, actually I've ruined it now saying the egg one, but I went on stage with like an Anki. Yeah. And I said, uh, at this point I was dressed up as a caretaker in it. <laughs> sure. Don't know why, can't remember. No. I was stood there with this, uh, with this Anki over me hand. Yeah. And I said, right, you're gonna love this one. Yeah. I said, I'm gonna make a, a bird appear in front of your, in front of your eyes, right? Yeah. And I'm like, oh god, what's he gonna do? So I'm stood there. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they did. Yeah. Pulled the Anki off. It was an egg. Had an egg, and I said, oh, it hasn't been born yet. That's brilliant. They loved it. They, yeah, yeah. Went wild for it, did they? Round of applause. Yeah. Uh, How old were you? Was, was that, that your, like was, 17? Was, was that apart from the apart from your paper round? Was that the high point of your life so far? Uh, is that the best? No, I, did, I didn't really. Carl, want to do I'd it. like to see you take that on the road. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe at least up to the Edinburgh Festival next year. <laughs> Carl, we'll, we'll play a song now, right? One of my f uh, great track, Watch That Man, off one of my favourite albums, A Lud Insane by David Bowie. But during that, can, can, you, can you think of a couple of things for me? What's the best thing that's ever happened to you? Can you can you think about that for three minutes? Me and Steve will leave you alone. Just the best thing that's ever happened to you. Remember and think that is amazing. Yeah, can you do that? Play yeah. the play. Watch that man. David Bowie. Steve's caught unaware there, just wandering around, not quite ready, were you? Well, no, I'm just relaxed, you know, just yeah. laid back, just hanging. Yeah, Carl. Yeah. Best thing that's ever happened to you. Best event, best day in your life. I mean, there's, there's loads of things that happen. Like, <laughs> uh... Yeah. No, but, do you know what I mean? You can go for obvious stuff like, you know, meeting Suzanne, yeah. sticking with her and having well, take, a take, take that, take that as red. Yeah. 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 You've got that on your design, and that's all yeah. you've done. Well, uh... And the day you, you know, you got your qualifications through. Yeah, the history. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, probably... I mean, when you asked me then, the first thing that came into my mind, right, that was a real surprise, right? Because it's like, you, you get surprises on your birthday and that, don't you? Mm. But they're not really surprises, because you're hassling your mum and dad for stuff. Yeah. And then they, you know, they might bite you. Yeah, so it's not yeah. really a real surprise, is it? Do yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh... So I'd say something that was really like, oh yeah, nice one, I've got something here, is the time when <laughs> my dad said, empty the bin, will you? Right? <laughs> I said, oh, do I have to? And I, I was watching something, it was like, why don't you, or something like that yeah. on the telly. Is this right? what started your tea bag and banana skin collection? <laughs> right. So <laughs> it was like, do you know in the summer holidays where you'd have dead good telly in the morning, you had like, yeah, uh, the monkeys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. It was, banana why splits. Don't you, banana splits yeah, and yeah. all that, right? And I was like, loving that, I was watching that, and my dad said, empty the bin. I said, oh, the monkeys are on in a minute. He said, just, oh, just empty the bin. So I emptied it and I just put it near the door. He said, don't leave it there. He said, stick it near the bins in the garden. I was like, oh, I'll put it there later. He said, no, do it now. Yeah. Right? So I was like, oh, if I miss the beginning of this, I'll be livid. Be right? Good. So I picked it up quick, ran out down to the bottom of the garden, slung it in the corner and sort of went to turn back to go back in and had to look again because they had like a little AA truck they Even. bought me, it wasn't brand new, but he'd got it from somewhere, a little AA go-kart, do you know one of them, like, little things? That, I mean, I was, I was young. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And it was, it was like, a go-kart? What well, kind of, you know, the plastic ones? Yeah. When you're about, I, I don't know, I must have been like five or six or something. 
So I don't quite follow. The, the, had so he sent dad, you out there? My dad sent, sent me out with a bin bag so yeah. I could see so like, could what he'd got thing. me. And yeah. it wasn't my birthday or anything, he just got it from somewhere. You sure you hadn't just nicked it and dumped it out of the bag? Possibly. Sure. But, uh, that, that was a, like a genuine like, oh yeah, smart. Yeah. So I went back in, watched the tally and yeah, that for a bit and went back out. You thought, so did I tell you, did I tell you about my go-kart? Yeah, that you- Yeah. About your dad giving it away. Yeah. What's the story? I, 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 I've told you something, have you? Have you gone? What? Tell it again. Well, I, I, have I told it on air? I can't remember. Maybe I just told you. Um, when I was about eight or nine, I had a go-kart and I loved it. It was one of those things you pressed back and forth. Yes. And I used to come in every day, used to just get changed, and run out, and it was, um, behind the shed, and I used to just go up and down the garden. And one day I came running in, and I ran out, and I couldn't see it. And I went to the back door, my mum was washing up, and I went, Where's my go-kart? She went, your dad swapped it. Your dad swapped it? Yeah. With his, it was, it was his mate, Jimmy, in the pub. He went, it's just, I said, what, ah. Oh. She went, yeah, he swapped it for a wheelbarrow. So I went and looked back and there was this wheelbarrow, right, <laughs> that was obviously just came off a building site. Yeah. Covered in concrete. Of I couldn't, it was steel, right, so I could hardly move it. Yeah. And I went back and I went, really? She went, yeah, it's your wheelbarrow. <laughs> See, I'm thinking so, so my dad, my dad lost the wheelbarrow that day. <laughs> yeah, and I used to, I used to push that up and down. It wasn't the same. And you used then to push the wheelbarrow up yeah, and down. Anything I mean, in there or no? I just like, to try, I was just trying to sort of keep myself amused. Yeah. But anyway, that summer I went on holiday and uh, I went to Bognor with my mum and my nan. Um, <laughs> Another wild holiday. Yeah, yeah. And now I was sort of out, out with my caravan, and I, I made friends uh, with this this kid, and he'd hired a go kart from the the caravan, is that right? And I remember him going around in it, and uh, I was, it, was, it was great. And I said, <laughs> and I said, I've got a go-kart. <laughs> and the caravan window opened, and my mum said, don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> You've uh, got a wheelbarrow. <laughs> <laughs> Be truthful. <laughs> I went, I had a go-kart. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's so tragic. Yeah. What Did you ever really forgive him for that? I'd never forgive him, my dad, if he'd swapped a go-kart for a wheelbarrow. I just thought that's par for the course. Yeah. It? You know what I mean? You yeah. They're in charge. Sure. Did you used to rush home, change and... <laughs> into <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. Into <laughs> that sort of gardener's gear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Straight into your hard hat and dungarees. I could, Mum, any bricks need moving. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. dear. Oh, that's so tragic. Yeah. Yeah. Still, oh. that was your happiest day. Yeah. Beautiful car. So that's, that's the one that sprung to mind. Yeah. Yeah, and my, un my unhappiest. You see how, how go-karts can be good or bad? <laughs> Does that make you think, Carl, that yeah. the go-kart is, you know, is good and evil? <laughs> yeah. Play a record. Oh, I'm so upset. Ads. Huh? So, so oh, ads. brilliant. What ads have you got? <laughs> I've got these. <laughs> Electric Soft Parade. Same way every day on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais. Within Steve Merchant. Sure. Rick, I, um, I only had one thing I had to do all week. Okay. What was that? I only had, I was, all week I was so excited about getting up Friday morning, phoning, getting Bruce Springsteen tickets. Oh, yeah. The boss is playing in, yeah. uh, in yeah. October. And basically got up too late. Well, not sold out already. You just sold out. It had sold out, but I've started calling about 12.30, it sold out. I trawled the net. I trawled, uh, all yeah, the phone lines. Yeah, but a lot of, yeah, some of those buys are bulk buys for selling on, aren't they? They're not all this individuals. This is the problem. This is the problem. I mean, I don't know how many people they can fit in Wembley Arena, but sold out by 12.30, and that's popular. Wembley Arena? Yeah. It's about 12,000, isn't it? I was so gutted. It was all I had to do. I was so looking forward to it. I phoned up one of those, like, do quite dodgy ticket agencies. Do you know how much he was offering to, you know, they're like, they're 45 quid to buy. Mm -hmm. He said the starting price is 225 quid. I mean, that to me is like a ticket tout, like a legal ticket tout. Are they tout. allowed to do that? I don't know. It's crazy. I was so they angry. They could make, is that, they, they'd have to say their booking fee was £150. Yeah, pounds. exactly. So I, but now I'm just, I'm like desperate. I don't know what to do. I'm just wondering if I can abuse our position on the radio and just try and scrounge them from anyone <laughs> who's listening. No, I mean, anyone who's listening who's got the power to get them, you know, or- This is begging, or, isn't it? It's, it's, it's exactly what it is, Rick, yeah. Yeah, I was gonna try and dress it up. Yeah. But it's just begging. That I'm just ticket touts after you as well. For exactly. Dissing him. Ricky dot Gervais. Don't at bring me into it. Shut up. Ricky dot Gervais at xfm dot co dot uk. If there's anything you can do to get me a ticket, I'm willing to pay for it. Um, up to the point oh, of forty five quid. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Wow. No, the second hand. Yeah, second hand. Yeah. You don't. You don't want to yeah. throw your money around. I'll give twenty five quid. Come on. <laughs> don't you know yeah. who I am? Yeah. But um. But that, I mean, do you know what I mean? Because I'm just, like, I asked Carl if he could sort it out. He's done nothing. He's achieved nothing. I know. So I'm just desperate. I'm in a desperate situation and I don't quite know what to do. I'll tell you this though, Carl. Don't bother doing favours for him because he's not grateful. 
he, he, you give him something, he goes, right, does this mean I have to give you something back? And I go, well, no. He goes, good. <laughs> well, I got your cure tickets and you did nothing yeah, but whinge about rubbish, it. Yeah, it was rubbish, that gig. There you go, It then. was rubbish. I went along to that gig, it was a balmy summer's night. The cure, as far as I'm concerned, owed me a balmy summer's night, cos I wasted it. Hour and a half they played for, they played four hits. I don't want to hear their dirge from, like, some dodgy album and from, like, 1984. I'm not interested. Play the hits. Boys don't cry. Love cats, blah, 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 blah. Instead, I got nothing. I was so angry. I was, I was... Just, oh man, I was You were probably angry. angry at Carl, weren't you? I was angry at Carl for wasting my time getting yeah. me the tickets for Do you know free. What I mean, if I Carl? paid for it, Are I'd you have getting, been to, you're getting to see living. what sort of a bloke Steve Merchant is? Mm -hmm. No, it's not the point. Do you not agree, though? If you're going to go and see a band like The Cure on a summer's night in yeah. Hyde Park, you do not want to hear some obscure B-sides and album tracks. But that, that's what, that was a great thing about when, when, when I saw Bowie at the BBC. He played. Well, you what? He, you know about that. I don't know about this. Yeah, you do. What? When did you see Bowie? At uh, the you? Jonathan Ross recording. Oh, what, your showbiz friend Jonathan Ross? <laughs> yeah. What yeah. was this? Was that that TV thing he did? Yeah. You went to that? You haven't told me about this. Yes, I have. No, you haven't. Well, you were away, I think. No, I wasn't. Because I watched it on TV. It was amazing. Well, don't tell me that. It was incredible. Were you seriously there? Yeah. And then, then I went on to a show on the Saturday. Cause did he, you? Yeah. Because I was just about John said, oh, I need someone to come in. Yeah. And I went on to the radio So you were show. hanging out with Bowie? Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> go on. Who else was there? <laughs> well, the weird thing was- Shall I go through my favourite artists and you just name <laughs> them and see if, if they were there, just let me know. <laughs> no, but it was amazing, right? Cause he started, he played, um, uh, just doing local, cause it was that, cause it was that, um, it was the Meltdown thing. And he did, uh, Be My Wife, which was great. Then he started doing Fame. Right, and they'd been talking about Ziggy in the, um, the interview. He was going, oh, everyone goes on Ziggy, will you just stop it? Right, it was sort of like, got to a point where he was going, oh, it. and it was really funny, and, uh, uh but Jonathan's got a favourite phase with that, right? And then he started playing, um, Fame, and it was really good, and he just went, stop this, stop this. This isn't, uh, this, uh, let's do Ziggy. And oh. a sp uh, my spine tingled. I was well up. And he did Ziggy Stardust, and I'll tell you what, it sounded like the album version. And he's got an amazing band, and it was, and I love it when they do that. They know, I hate it when they, just because they've been going for 25 years, they start changing Sorry, it. I can't believe that you went to this, that you knew you were going to this, and you never asked me, you never asked Jonathan if you could get me in. I mean, seriously, I, w I mean, you know how much that would have meant yeah, to me. Yeah, but it was very tight. Apparently, I, I, I know, but I, it was very, very, it was very sort of. Apparently, Richard uh, Branson couldn't get in, there was a queue. So I was like, especially, it was, it was me, me and Jane went, um, uh, D David Badil and uh, Frank Skinner. Oh, what, sort of... some new showbiz friends of yours, <laughs> aren't no, they? No, I mean, that we, that, I'm rubbing it in, Steve. I, I can't, I'm just. <laughs> but you might not have liked it, you might have complained, like, Carl got you the you... cure, and you, you, you turned it back on rubbish, it. That was rubbish, though. That was rubbish. Well, you might not have liked what David did. Did, you know, I'll tell you I, this, seriously, if, if I find out that you do, the, that you've gone to some secret gig or something in the future, and I find out you've been, seriously, that's it. There's no more office, there's no more, no, no I'm not joking, I'm not mucking around, because that to me is like, that's what friendship is, that's like a textbook example of friendship. What do you think, Carl? Uh, no, I just think that's no, really off. No, you I just think away. that's really you off. Were, you, you are no, I wasn't away. Yeah, you were, yeah. I wasn't away, don't try and fool me. Yeah. I wouldn't have been away, if I was away, I wouldn't have been away you if were you told asleep. me that was happening. You were asleep. I'm, I, I'm, seriously, I'm, you can, we can joke about it, but I'm really angry about this. What do you think, Carl? <sighs> there's a secret, right, there's this, apparently there's a secret Bruce Springsteen gig that's being planned. I'm going. It's all, are you? I, if you, seriously, if you, <laughs> but seriously, if you, if, if I find out you're at that, oh, I will, I mean. Oh, dear. To play a record so I can shout expletives at Wicked Javens. Oh, I, I tell you what, lovely bit of electronic. Oh. Just to cook, cook uh, calm and, and soothe me. I'm just, seriously, I'm not joking, that really winds me up. That yes. really winds me up. The cure was good. <sighs> Electronic, getting away with it. Nice to hear that again, Rick. Yeah, lovely. Love all that. Love all that. Someone's well, just, uh, You've had a bit of result, haven't you? Well, no, there's a guy who's phoned out who said he might be able to sort me out with the Springsteen tickets, so <laughs> deeply excited about that. But, yeah. you know, people don't, uh, don't get, don't get for complacent. <laughs> don't your he might not be able Steve, to. Steve demands a lot of hard work. Well, he, he might not be able to sort it out. You know, he's going to make some calls, but, uh, if he can't, then, you know, keep calling or emailing, uh, uh Ricky You'll be taking me, won't you? Because after, after that rant about me not taking you. Well, you're welcome to go. I mean, if- well, if you told me that before, I probably could have blagged some using your name. <laughs> if you let me do that, I could have phoned out the promoter. Uh, well, I'm calling on behalf uh, of Ricky Gervais, BAFTA oh, winner. Oh, dear. He'd have probably, uh, uh sorted me right out. But yeah, no, I mean, you know, we-, we joking aside, mm. it is quite serious. And, um, 
And as I said, I don't, I don't want to pay through the nose for them, you know, I'm willing to go up to sort of 47 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> they cost 45 like, face Like, like that, that Steve trying to impress a girl in a queue yeah. offered the bouncer two quid for himself if yeah. he could go to the front of the oh, queue. Oh man, that was so embarrassing. Two quid. I tried to bribe, did I tell you that car? I tried to bribe the uh, bouncer, he was coming out, he was just, he thought he was really, he thought he was in total, he was, he was like the, the bouncer of the Met Club, or the, the Met Bar or something. Ten of in. He was choosing. No, it wasn't. He was picking people off, right? I, yeah. That was it. He was picking people off, and he was going, "You, you can come in. You can come in." I got chained to a couple of girls. I thought, oh, "I'm in. I'm in here. I'm sorry, dear." Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I thought, I'll, I'll, "I'll act flash. I'll try and bribe my way into the club." Like, the guy was walking past. I cornered him. I went, "We, how much is it to go in?" He said, uh, "Fiver." I went, "I'll give you seven. <laughs> <laughs> and two pounds. I thought, because the problem I had was I didn't want to go straight to like a tenner. No. Because if he accepted seven, I didn't want to be that. You know, no. I didn't want to waste no, money. Right, so I thought, I right, thought right, we Steve. could at least haggle. It was the term. Is that frugal? What is the term for that? Thrifty? I know. Um... No, I, but I'm resenting this because you are trying to create this kind of, this lies, this myth that I'm somehow, you know, like that I'm somehow cheating Careful. my money yeah. or that I'm not a great lover. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's sort of what I'm like, it's annoying me. Uh, frankly. Oh, so, uh, dear. Um, Carl, you went to, uh, Habitat this week, didn't you? You're not gonna believe this, Steve. Go on. He told me Is this. It no. Do you know I tell you about those, um, mm -hmm. those lads at school with big heads? Sure, yeah, the big head lads, yeah. Right. <laughs> and the um, web feet. Yeah, we web dams. Web dams, was it? Um, they weren't um, there, were they? They weren't there, but do you know, like, Ricky was always saying, oh, they don't exist, they only went to your school, you yeah. know, la la la. It was in Habitat, there was only one, one sat on a sofa. <laughs> Not one of the lads, but one of the- one A big headed lad. A big headed lad. <laughs> is that like, I when you say a big headed lad, is he like Frank Sidebottom, <laughs> big head? I mean, is it like- what I is don't it? know what it- this is why, you know, it, it'd is be nice to- You think it's maybe a medical- Well, it'd be nice to, if there's a doctor listening, sure. right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. A doctor <laughs> listening to x I'm thinking, I must phone up and fuel Carl's obsession with yeah. the deformed. Yeah. No, but it's not really deformed. But it how was just big is the head? Probably, you see, it's weird how it's always kids who I see with it, so I'm wondering whether- they, they have grow a full into the size head, head right, and yeah. then the, when they get older, <laughs> it works out all right. Like jumpers, my mum used to get me, but jumpers are size too big, yeah. so it'd last a year. So I'm just wondering if it's the same. So, so how old are these generally? Are they not like adults? They're like kids. Well, when they? I was at school, there I was probably about seven, and this kid on. And do they have to wear Sunday. any kind of apparatus to sort of keep their head from kind of you know uh, not tipping them over or sort of staying well, upright? Like I mean, he's, he's, well, I'm just worried that the head's kind of too heavy for their body or something in there. No, it's, I mean it's not that big. Right. It's. Uh, it's just not right. You kind of go, you, you sort of do a bit of a double take. Yeah. yeah. Um, like the fringe isn't sort of, you know, just above their eyes. It's quite high up. Sure. Um, yeah. that sickens you, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> and is it something that repulses you slightly? Do you get No, 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 no. That's, that'd be cruel. No, sure. But, yeah. uh, but, you know. But it's not cruel to discuss it on the radio. Well, it happens, sure. doesn't it? Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, and I, I'd just like to know what it is. If it's like a, like a, a water on the head type <laughs> A water on the head type thing. Like water on the knee, yeah. but <laughs> on the head. on the head. But, uh, yeah, if anyone knows what it is. Yeah. People uh, with big heads. Yeah, it'd be, uh... And it's, yeah, okay. It'd be good. Good information. So what time, how are we doing? You sure it wasn't perspective? You sure he wasn't sort of, um, sort of leaning forward and he was really tall? So yeah. the top of his the, the head looked quite big, but then it went to a little body. But really, his body was a lot further no, away. No big head. Yeah. Just yeah. a big head. The uh, rest of his body fine. Face okay. Everything's normal. You if weren't you wore, looking at him in a kettle. If you wore a hat, <laughs> it'd be all right. But what yeah. do you mean? If you wore a hat, he'd be all right. You'd probably just think, oh, it's a big hat. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what sort of hat? So you'd well, like a ten-gallon hat. Yeah, with, uh, with that would go down onto his well, shoulders with two eyes cut in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, like something like, like the Ant Hill mob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Michael Benteen's potty time. Oh, yeah. How would a hat help him? Yeah. Are Just you sure this him. wasn't a Diddy man? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Ah! I'm not being mean. I just want to no. know what it is. No. Okay. Right. But well, if you are a doctor listening and you and you you know you want to use your kind of free Saturday. Not to the doctor waste. who phoned the bloke in America and said, "Where do I get blood from?" Sure. Not that doctor because yeah. I assume he's been struck off now. Given sure. Give us a call and, and sort out the the whole big head conundrum. What's the number? Uh, oh eight seven hundred eight hundred one two three four. That's also the number to call if you have Bruce Springsteen tickets available. I will uh, pay up to forty seven. Don't pounds. do it. Go yourself. Don't give them to Steve for cost price. Make a little profit. Oh, come I mean, on, don't say to Mickey. Don't me up. You know. I feel like you've already ruined the I mean, thing. Don't ruin but, some more of my dreams. But I'll tell you what, if you do get Steve, um, a ticket, he'll be so grateful that he will spend a bit of money on you, I, I imagine. You'll buy the tickets and, you know, give him something pretty special because you're earning now and, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, let me discuss that with them, Rick. <laughs> I mean, let's not make any promises. <laughs> 
Yeah. You're in the middle of a phone call there, aren't you? Yeah. Is that still- is that poor bloke still on the line? Probably not, no, he's- he's gone. Oh, is he? Yeah, oh, he was in the middle of summer. White stripes, though. Yeah. Dead leaves and the dirty ground. Steve, what are you doing? Sorry, mate, I'm just, uh, sort of preoccupied with other stuff. I've got the whole Springsteen thing I'm worried about. I've got that playing on my mind. I've never seen Steve so worried. Like, it, usually he just he sits there I'm with his head. Thank you, Rick. I've made promises to people that I can keep. <laughs> 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 I promise about three different people I'm getting them tickets. <laughs> well, um, well, seriously, just right. Just some calls, Rick. That's all. <laughs> I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Are we doing the game in this hour or what? Oh, we could do. Should we do that? Your game. Well, what was that thing you told me the, the other day as well, of talking about it? People have been phoning up about this. I don't think we should talk about conditions of the mind and brain. Well, that woman's but, put you right. Yeah, shown us it's uh, hydrocephalus, it could be, and uh, all it is is that it's, it, it's totally curable and it, it, normal life. What they do is it's a baby born with sort of water on the brain and it comes out, must hurt a bit in childbirth, and then they just uh, drain it off. It's just full of water. I tell you what. What? It just reminded me. What? Weird stuff going on in the but world. But it was a baby, was it? This was a- maybe it was a baby. Maybe it was- or oh, maybe it was a baby, but it had water on the everything. Well, listen, right, I don't, I, this was a kid with a big head, as far as I'm concerned. He wasn't a baby. Go but on. we know what he's got, everything's sorted. <laughs> but other things, right, <laughs> that are weird in the world- Yeah, Do you know how you're Carl. always like, um, yeah. you're going on about, uh, there's no ghosts and stuff? Yeah. Right? How do you answer this one? Someone here who I work with, yep. right? I'm not going to say the are because it doesn't matter. <laughs> but they were eating uh, space cake, right? What do you mean by that, Carl? Explain. What's for, a space cake for people who? It's for, some it's some sort of druggy cake, isn't it? Yeah. Right. A dope brownie or whatever. Yeah. Right. So 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 with so with cannabis in it. Is that what you're saying? I think it's something stronger than that, isn't it? I don't know. But Fine. anyway, he was having this space cake. And you, you better give me the name now, Carl, because I've got to report him. <laughs> no, listen. It's listen only, no, 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 no. It really it's still, No. Is it Sturgis? <laughs> was it Claire Sturgis? Yeah, she wouldn't say bother with it. She, she's gone on the hardest. She doesn't bother with yeah, those. Just, just doesn't, doesn't do anything to Straight her now. Straight to the vein, yeah. <laughs> so listen, yeah. right? So he's at a party, right, yeah. with his mates, mm. and they're listening to um, the uh, Star Sailor album, uh -huh. right? Right. And uh, he's sat there, and he's had some of this cake. Right. And. Just listen to the album, and his mate sat across the way talking to someone else. Hmm. Right? That's weird. The album's on, mm. and he thinks to himself, this track's going on a bit. Yeah. yeah. And his mate across the way, who's talking to someone else, heard him say it. Heard him say it, and he goes, Yeah. He goes, Yeah, it isn't it? Yeah. So he goes, Oh. Right. And he goes, See, usually at this point, I say had this bloke taken drugs, but you started the story <laughs> yeah. with this bloke. No, 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 no. Had done some drugs, since, right, Rick? No, he, if he if he was here now, yeah, right, he would say, yeah, I know, I think it sounds, I know it sounds mental, yeah, yeah. but it happened, and yeah. it wasn't just the one question. It wasn't just like, oh, this track's a bit long, in it. Yeah, it is. He had a it whole conversation. A whole conversation sure. with the guy. And yeah. what, and but it, sorry, I, I just want to clarify. You mean he had the whole conversation telepathically? Yeah. Right. And he didn't just shout across the And they've recently yet. met up and, like, they've sat there and, and tried to, like, work out mm. what happened. Mm. And it's Without, not happened Presumably again. they don't have to talk at all anymore. Yeah. Why did they meet up? Couldn't they have just done it <laughs> like, in their own homes? <laughs> To stay do, they, do they have to have that cake before they yeah, start having the a chance. conversation? Hold on, wait a minute, lads. Why are we using our lips? Yeah. This is using way too many for. Oh, take them. There you go. <laughs> my, my only question with that is, uh, being sceptics like Ricky and I, whenever we hear a story like that about the paranormal, the first thing we always look for is maybe some, maybe some other explanation. Yeah. Maybe one vague idea. Lying. Could be lying. Uh, Chinese or whisper. Uh, as, 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 as I think you pointed out, there are drugs. It's often, uh, <laughs> drugs. often an issue as well. Madness, yeah. fear, delusion, mm. sleep. Yeah. You know, there, there, there are there are so many things you go through. I'm going to go with the drugs <laughs> before your dead grandmother <laughs> exactly. pops into the equation. I'm going to go with the acid. Right, tell the other story that you totally you totally believe this as a true story, don't you? The fellow with the the um, being killed. Right, do you know how the other week we were talking about some fella who had his head cut off and he said, uh, when my head goes into, into the basket, I'm gonna blink a lot, see how many times I can blink. But if you remember, 
when Carl first told me that, it was, uh, um, I think it was Simon or, um, uh, Nick that had to point it out. He goes, no, that's not quite right, Carl. Carl told me it, that he had his head cut off, and when his head was in the basket, it looked up and said, count how many times I blinked. <laughs> yeah, sure. But he believed that as well. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, he was yeah, happy, yeah. he was happy with that. Sure. Do you know Sorry, what I mean? Sorry, so, so, yeah, you, a couple of weeks ago, there was a guy, he had his head cut off, and before he had it off, he'd said, I'm gonna blink to show yeah. that there's life after death, and, and he, he did, done he it. did 32 blinks, yeah, right? Sure. So, you two were sort of pointing that down the other yeah, week. we were skeptical. So, that. I looked again. On the internet? At some other website. Mm. Yeah. And there's a guy... Sorry, it's the website, just to clarify, the website is the place where you bought that property on the moon, didn't you? Because it was a bargain. <laughs> right. So, um, <laughs> this guy... Been gazumped. Look, we'll see who's been gazumped when, <laughs> then when this world ends, yeah. I've got somewhere to go, yeah. right? And I know you'll be calling me up, saying, oh, can I come with you? Have you got no, like two square exist, foot? <laughs> no, I've got acres. You're gonna have to stand <laughs> deadly still <laughs> on the moon in your two square foot. I've got about There's no place acres. for Suzanne, it'll just yeah. be you. Twelve off, love. It's well. all- it's all those people with big heads and web feet that have been buying it all these years. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, right. right. Go on. Anyway. Play a record, tell us a story after it. We've been oh, chatting for Sorry, Carl. Here. No, it, yeah, there's no record. Play a tune, we'll come back with what this. What's this, another ghost story? No, oh, oh, let's play my, one of my favourite songs of all time. I'll go on holiday and get into a lovely, serene move. Serene Sorrento is probably from that. Uh, it's Neil Young, after the gold rush. Beautiful. Still to come, that competition as well. Look forward to that. Carl's quiz. Yeah. What an amazing track Beautiful that is. Tune, yeah. Neil Young, Dynamite. after the gold rush. So go on, Carl. Sorry. Go on, Carl. So just take us back a few steps, Carl. What, what's, what's the story? Right, so I did some research. Right. Let, let's just recap again. The guy, there was a guy you read about who had his head chopped off, he was guillotined. Yeah. He had said to the people around him, Count I am blinks. going to blink once I've had my head cut off to so show the brain life, can still. Or the brain yeah. can continue to work after, yeah. after yeah. death. Okay, so yeah, we queried that. So y you weren't having any of it? Well, no, possibly for a few seconds till the, the oxygen stops being fed to the cells because the blood has drained away. But, you know, no, nothing spectacular. So right, go on. Well, along the similar sort of lines, right? This is quite a few years ago. Um, this fella sort of upset the royal family doing something, right? Uh -huh. So they said that this isn't good. It wasn't Ben Outen at that jubilee thing, was I it? Can't, was I can't remember what it was. And they said, right, <laughs> that was terrible. We're yeah. gonna uh, we're gonna cut your head off. Um, you know, oh. you gotta you gotta show people that you can't be doing what you've been doing. What was this? <laughs> the nineteen seventies? When you say a couple of years ago, you mean maybe sort of? Was it the olden days when the phones weren't very good? Ages ago. Yeah. Ages ago, sure. So, um, so, so, yeah, fair yeah. enough. Yeah. So... <laughs> Very philosophical. <laughs> yeah, imagine that, yeah. when he was near school. Yeah, this was enough. literally ages ago. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, go Simon on. Sharma's History of Britain. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, and even before that, which is yonks, <laughs> yeah. before, when it was all mental and different. <laughs> so, Sorry, Carl, go on. So he's having his head cough, and he's, but no, he's resigned to it's, it. It's the day before, he's kind of got it into his head now that I'm not gonna have my head, uh, much longer. Sure. So he said, let's, let's make use of this. Yeah. <laughs> He said, uh, <laughs> I wonder how long, like, the body can stay alive yeah. without me head on it, <laughs> right? So they were like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> so, uh. Hoover. So. The jailers? Whoever he was the asking. These jailers with one eye. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Get that pants. So, so he said, no, wait a minute, I've got an interesting scientific experiment, jailer. Well, yeah. fair enough. What is it? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, he said, what I want to do, right? He said, um,. You know, surely it's, it's my last right. You know, I'm gonna mm. be I'm gonna be dead tomorrow. Sure. So um, let's he do a test. He didn't draw it out this long, did he? Yeah. He said, let, let's 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 test this out. You know, he yeah, said, do yeah. us a favour. He said, you know, it's my last day. Um, what I want you to do is, you're gonna cut my head off. Let's put a white line on the floor. Right. And see if you know, because there's no point asking how far he can sort of walk without an head if there isn't a line because you, you don't know what to count, do you know what I mean? If it's just, if he loses his head and he's running around all over the place, you can't yeah, really count that's that. That's not impressive enough, yeah. So, so they said, let's make a white line. Sure. Yeah. Who and said this? He did or they did? I think they started to join in with him and say, well, let's make yeah. this a, you Sure. Know. You're guessing, <laughs> go on. So, uh... <laughs> they got Norris McWhorter there. <laughs> <laughs> the Guinness people. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So they said, Let's get this white line. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, Dedication's all he needs. We'll, we'll do this. We'll do this tomorrow. And he said, "All right, then, yeah. I'll see you in the morning." Yeah. See you in the morning. I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> night, night. Sleep tight. <laughs> bye, bye. Uh, I love the fact that Carl knows exactly what was said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. He doesn't know the story yeah. or what order it is in yeah. or when but it he was. Knows exactly what or was said. said what, but he knows the interview. <laughs> all right, then. See you in the morning. <laughs> mm, bye. Little kissy, kissy, kissy. <laughs> oh, I'm not, I'm not like that. Oh, you joker! Oh, don't let the bed bugs. What? Yeah. Anyway, so uh, he gets up. Do you want a paper yeah. tomorrow? No, I'm all right. Go on. He gets up mm. and they say, right, you know, today's the day and that. And he said, well, you know, I've got <laughs> got used to the idea. So yeah. here's here's a white line for you. Got <laughs> used to the idea. <laughs> 
<laughs> go on. So, uh, so they go, right, you ready then? And he said, I go on. And they cut his head off, and the body walked 32 steps without a head. <laughs> wow. 32 steps. Incredible. And that's, that's, that's the lesson, really. Did it get as far as the white- it walked along the white line, did it? Yeah, it stayed along the white line, did 32 steps, and then started to stumble a bit, and it just fell over. Yeah, yeah. But, it you know, it was a test that your body can still keep alive for a little bit. Yeah. When- when you've lost your head. Absolute twaddle. <laughs> Absolute twaddle. <laughs> what- what do you reckon you can do, then, without an head? <laughs> how, how many steps? Nothing. There'd be muscular spasm, right? Yeah. It, it would twitch uh, a bit. It would- yeah. You could not- Distinctly take thirty-two steps. Mm. The body. C well, don't. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> it's yeah. a doctor sit on the line. Yeah. The fellow that bought six parrots. Yeah. And uh, you know, you could have thirty-two steps. Right. So a you don't believe that. Doing a bit of line dancing. Right. You don't believe that. Well, something that you do believe that a cockroach can live a week without an head. It can. Hmm. Slightly different. Slightly different kettle of fish there. Why? Wow. Well, mm, insect to. Uh, human <laughs> is is the, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, that well, difference. J j there's not that much difference in well, of some insects. Do you know that a snake has a heart and lungs and kidneys and stuff? Go on. No, well, I'm just saying. So you're making out as if like they're a totally different like species. <laughs> I am. I am making that up. I mean, call Rick, me old-fashioned. Do you know what you're talking about, though? I don't want you embarrassing yourself, Rick. <laughs> yeah. I am suggesting they're totally different beings. Yeah, that is... Yeah. Um, now, Carl, uh, the, the, the cockroach is, is a very different thing. The interesting there is that it lives... It lives by its head. Because a lot of it's on, uh, 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 th th some of them are phototropic, chemotropic, some of them just literally have, uh, irritation and muscle memory. I mean, they do have a central nervous system, but it, it, it's, it's very different. So if you lose the head, it bypasses a lot of that anyway. All this is running around. The reason it dies is because it can't take on water. But it's very different to a man, <laughs> right, having consciousness and then losing that. And the body's still going, now I remember, I think I remember what I was gonna do here. Yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna carefully walk 32 steps along this white line. I'm basically just looking out going, oh, missed a bit. Yeah. Um, maybe the head was in the corner going, left! <laughs> yeah. Left, you <laughs> left! Oh, he's now. Ooh. Well, let's just put it out. I mean, if, if, if anyone listening has, uh, has maybe had a relative <laughs> beheaded, maybe in a hor horrendous car accident, <laughs> but they got up, maybe they, they went for a walk, uh, they, you know, they, they, they had a little chat before oh, they passed dear, on. Carl. Get in touch. You know, oh, you, you Carl, you, you, you are my favourite being. You are my favourite species. Now, you, Carl, may not be particularly different genetically <laughs> from a cockroach. <laughs> <laughs> you are. Why can cockroaches speaking. do that? Why are you ever made them when? Let's play a record. Let's do do you know what? When I told him this fact, I send him little facts on text messages just to inflame his, you know, interest. I just sent him a cockroach can live nine days without its head. Mm. He texted back, "What's the point of that?" Yeah. What's the point? Of They're that? not doing experiments. These cockroaches. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, a, it's a boring last week to have. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and I'm talking all that. You're thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. it's the worst week of your life, isn't it? That week without your head. Play a record. Play a record, Carl. Competition time next. Oh. oh. He's oh. Look at his little face. Oh. Look at his little face. He's not Carl's competition. <laughs> oh. oh. He could live without an head. Eminem. Bit late there, weren't you, Carl? Put your little headphones on. Cleaning out my closet. What are you doing? I've got to stuff my face with, um, toilet paper. Oh. Do the, do the competition. Yeah. Do you know, we, when we were writing the, sh the TV show, um, I was filming it just for our own amusement, just to sort of, uh, I suppose more as a document, really, so that if there was ever, a, you know, a court of, court of law that needed, uh, evidence of Ricky Gervais's, I don't know what it is, really, sickness, <laughs> annoyance. He did this for about two hours. He, you see what he's doing now? He's stuffing his face with toilet roll. Yeah. Um. And pushing the lips out so I can just show him the teeth. Yeah. So that actually makes me want to be sick. I know. <laughs> yeah, actually, so gag a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> it's horrible. Good. Well, while Ricky does that, Carl, it's time for your quiz. See, this is what you have for this is on telly. Right. An example. You have to be quiet or you've got to take that toilet paper out of your okay. mouth. I'm really serious because it's right. really annoying. Okay. Are you going to be quiet? Yeah. Right. An example of the game, just in case people didn't air the launch of it last week. Um, it's, it's a song title. Um, I tell a little story and that song and that little story is a, a, a song, isn't it? Yeah. Right. So, um, say for example, um... What did we do last week? What did we do last oh, week? Oh, the, the woman who, uh... Oh, yeah, a woman who really wants to, um... Like, have a bath because she stinks. Yeah. But she can't because if she had a bath or a shower or a wash or whatever, she'd end up killing herself. Yes. No, right? you didn't say that. 
<laughs> what? Isn't it killing herself? Well, anyway, as an example, that would be one of the stories. Yeah, she's and the electric, answer, yeah. The answer there is she's, she's electric. Yeah, she couldn't have, have a shower because she would have ended up killing herself. Yeah. yeah. Alright? So this week's then, and don't say it if you know it, because the idea is that people can oh, vote, right. right? Um, there's this bloke, and he, he, he buys a new house, mm -hmm. right? And he's well happy with it. His, his girlfriend moves in with him and stuff, and she says, right, uh, you know, let's, uh, let's, let's clean it up a bit. Yeah. And, uh, you know, straight away it'll be worth more money. Uh-huh, good mm -hmm. idea. So, she, he says, right, you do the kitchen and I'll do upstairs and that. And she's stripping the kitchen down and, uh, he goes upstairs and he's in the bedroom and notices, uh, little, little hole to the attic. Oh, right, brilliant. Right. So he goes, oh, I wonder how much room's up there, you know, yeah. I've never weighed it up. So he goes up there and it's all, like, dusty and a mess. And he goes, this could make a good bedroom, this. Yeah, yeah. So he's, he starts cleaning it all out, puts all the rubbish, like, bins the rubbish straight away, and there's little boxes with bits in that oh. don't belong to him. So I wonder what's in here, yeah. right? So he opens one of the boxes, there's like a little lamp. Oh, right. right. And he goes, this might be worth a few quid, yeah. right? And he rubs it. Magic lamp. And all, like, all the room goes all sparkly and stuff. And he goes, oh, what's going on? And then this fella appears, right? In a nice sort of, uh, <coughs> in a nice sort of, uh, pair of 501s. Right. And he says, what do you want? I know it already. So all the, all the first bit is irrelevant. Yeah, but it's about building the story, isn't it? So don't say anything. If you think you know it, Steve, yeah. do you know it? I don't. So I just right. quickly recap the end there. I, I almost missed the end. Oh, so God. there you go. He's in, he's in the attic, right? Yeah. His missus is still downstairs. She's not up there. Okay. Right? He's on his own. And he cleans this lamp, right? Yeah. And this, this fella appears out of all this smoke and he's wearing a nice pair of 501s and he's wearing a shirt and, uh... There you go. What's 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 the song? What song are you thinking of? The lines are going mental. Because it's so live. easy. Let's let's play a record, Carl. We'll come back and we'll and we'll find out if anyone's got that right. That's a <laughs> great one, Carl. Really. All right. Did Gen you just come up with that literally in the last ten yeah. minutes? Genius. <laughs> this is genius. Definitely. I mean, it, if those calls aren't from major TV companies, <laughs> I don't know. It's. It, I mean, dynamite stuff. A lot of them are. What's his name's lawyer? Simon yeah, Mayer. Simon Mayer. <laughs> That's my favourite thing I've done for years. Yeah, not bad, not bad. That's great. Back to form there. So, uh, yeah, okay, line. The, the lines are going mental just because it's easy. Go on then. So I first think one to get it. The first one to get it, but... Well, it's not that, though, Rick. I mean, uh, Carl has, has just decided to revise the actual rules of the competition. Yeah. So that, we've decided, is very easy. So that's now a qualifier. And so then they have and to whoever... answer one live. Exactly. So whoever gets that one right can, can play for big Is it a quick one as well? Because some people will lose the will to live. Yeah. Just get, cut to the chase. And, uh, because um, they've got a qualify now, we're throwing an office DVD that aren't yeah, ready yet. that, won't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> that that increases its value yeah. by 42 <laughs> pence. <laughs> right, so we'll, go on. We'll just go live, yeah? Hello, XFM. Yeah, hi, how's it going? I'm uh, not too bad. Not too bad. Listen, um, a very, very quick recap, Carl, if you will, please, for the, uh, for the, for the people listening. Very quick. Right, um, A man ends up in a loft. Man's, after moving into this house and yeah. that, yeah. uh, is in the loft. And he's tidying up, his missus is downstairs doing the kitchen because that needed doing. He's up there, he's cleaning up, emptying the boxes, <sighs> he finds a little, like, a little... He rubs a lamp, a fella comes out wearing 501s. What's the song? <laughs> what, what's the song, mate? Are you talking to me? Yeah, yeah. sorry, yeah. Well, look, 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 I'm, look, I'm sitting in this bar, right? I'm not ringing up relating to anything that's going on right now. I'm after one of these armbands to go and meet Bowie on Monday. <laughs> Can you help me out? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Piss off. <laughs> you can't say that to our public. <laughs> yes, I can. People, I, what I can't bear is, is people begging, Rick, on the radio. <laughs> you know, I can't bear it. Is that the Australian people bloke? Just He's got the Bruce Springsteen tickets. Hello, XFM. Hello. Hello. Are you Hi. phoning up for an armband? No, Gene no. Okay, Genie. great. Gene Genie, of course it is. Gee, well done. Well done. Right, what, what's so, your name? So, everyone else can, uh, uh, ring off now, because, uh, this, this, uh... Well, she uh, might not take the challenge. <laughs> what, what's your name? <laughs> Which you will. Hello? What's your name? Christina. Christina. Right, do you want to take on the challenge? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, right, well. so this is for... Yeah. She's already won a couple of CDs. This is for the Office DVD. Right. Okay. okay. Signed by Ricky Gervais. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. So Go this... On, this is the same game again, but mm -hmm. we're doing it live. Right? Okay. So... Good luck. This is a song title. Right? There's this, um... There's this insect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving it already. <laughs> right? Yeah. And it's, uh, it's in its... It's in its little, like, nest. Mm-hmm. And all the other insects, all its mates and that, are really, like, working. They're grafting hard, they're tidying up. 
Some of them are going out getting the food. Some of them have even got heads, they're still working. Some of them are like, you know, rushing around, but there's this one insect who's just sat there with its feet up. And it's like, you know, just doing nothing. It's annoying all the other ones, but it's sat the there. The Ricky Gervais bug. And it's, it's <laughs> sat there doing nothing, having a little, like, fag and that. What's the song? I don't know. Oh, oh. my God, I'm brainless. Um, hold on, I don't know this either. So, obviously it's a type of insect, that's why you've avoided saying what it is. So it's, so it's something like lazy ant, lazy bee. Well, well um, then we shall throw it back open uh, to the oh, public. No, and I hope this, I hope this poor woman has <coughs> called in and now got a stupid one. But Christina's lost it now, she's hasn't she? She's lost it. No, she's blown it, Rick. Oh, oh sorry. You've got to be cool. you change oh, the rules halfway through. Anyway. She's on the show and got a DVD player, so she's not bothered. Okay, <laughs> all right. Cheers, Cheers Christine. Then, Christina. Bye. Bye. See you later. So, so we can throw that back out then, can we? Well, yeah. I don't know. What, don't Is there anyone on the phone? Yeah, yeah, go on, take the next person. So what was it, there was some bugs, there was a bug and one of them wasn't doing any work? It's, it, oh, loads of them are working really hard. Sure. This one's just sat there doing oh, nothing, hey, annoying them all, right? So, XFM. God. Hello. 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 I'm clear to say, it's in Carl Perkinson's mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I like him. Yeah. Hello, XFM. I like him. Hello? Hello. Oh yeah, is it, um, Animal Nitro by Swade? No, it's not. Good Go answer. On, Good answer. Is it a good answer? That doesn't well, make any sense, does it? <laughs> <laughs> it does, it? Oh, I know. Like yeah. Carl does. Yeah. Hello, yeah. XFM. Hello. Hello. Is it Ichiku Park? No. No. Ichiku Park. Bugs of Ichi, no. Yeah, sure. I think they're stabbing in the dark. They're, they're, starting to, they're starting to think like Carl, which <laughs> yeah, I like. Go on, next one. Hello, XFM. Hi, is it Scratch Pervert? No, it's not. Scratch oh, Pervert. She's oh, come out of nowhere there. It's good. It's Left something it. to do with Lazy Bug or Lazy Ant or Hello, Lazy XFM. Bee. Hello. Hello. Hi, is it Beetlebum? Excellent. Oh. Beetlebum, of course. Beetlebum by Blur. Sat around doing nothing, it's right, bum. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I don't win anything now. Well, well done. No, you don't. Yes, no. she does. She wins the office DVD. Take her name and address. <laughs> by Ricky Gervais. She doesn't, because she didn't do the qualifier. She knew it was Jean Genie. Oh, Cole, let someone win somewhere. It's lads, painful lads, enough lads. listening to you for ten minutes. Lads, can we Give just away come down some things? Moment? Lads, can we just come down for a moment? Once God. again, well, I just draw you to my point at the top of the show. When you were pissing about outside in the office, <laughs> we could have been working through this. Yeah. We could have been figuring out the rules. What's her name? We could have had maybe some Who's music, that? some jingles. Who's that? Who's that? What's, your, what's your name again? Can we do this off air? Let's play a record. Yeah, no, he's not going to give her an address out. We're rubbish. <laughs> this is we? so rubbish. We are really so rubbish. rubbish. What's your name? D. 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 Right, okay, right. well, right. play a record and we'll get yeah. your address, D, and we'll send you some stuff. Thank you. That's what I mean. You should right. cut in an hour early. We should sort this stuff out. <laughs> this is what I've been saying all along. I've been saying we should come in and do a bit of preparation. I've got things to do. Simon I... Mayo used to come in early. That was why he he's didn't have to this... sleep and eat breakfast. <laughs> Come back around by Feeder on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais, with me Steve Merchant, and our producer there, I say producer, um, Carl Pilkington, alright? Alright. Yeah, we got, we got to slicken up this thing. If we're gonna be as good as Mayo, we've got to, we've got to come in early and do the work. Yeah. Let's get in at ten to one next week. <laughs> we're not in it next week, are we? Uh, oh, no, well, though, I mean, we would be, if it weren't for but, the fact so that what you need a holiday already. You've done three weeks, but yeah, you need a little rest. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, it wasn't on holiday last time, I was working. Sure. Um, so what are you just gonna do a best of, are you? Yeah, just dig out some bits. And what are you gonna do? Just lump them together? Just, like, pick some, some favourite bits. Yeah. Right. And, uh, That'll fill up ten minutes. Well, I'm saying, well, do, music, do, do, do this then. Do the, do the, do the links then. So... Well, why don't so, we do some sort of stock links now then? Okay then. <laughs> do you remember that, Steve? <laughs> oh, that was a great moment. Yeah, oh, great moment. I, I'll tell you what though, I love the bit when he, well, just play well, it. Let's just play it. Right, so, so you can play one. some of there. Oh, well, can one. you do, do a proper intro so it's like, you know... One of the, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. oh, uh, uh... What, you know what song we're gonna come out of? Just say, just say generic, like, that's a good song. Well, let's, well, no, no, let's, uh, let's work out what uh, it okay, might okay. be. Okay, okay, well, should, um, what do you want to start off with next week, then? Oh, that's well, it. Let, give them a few options. Okay. Give them a couple of All options. Right, uh, that was a great track by Oasis. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Oasis there. Um, well, we're not actually here today, Steve. We recorded these last week. Uh, I'm on holiday. Um, what are you, you're just, you're just probably I'm chilling probably out. I'm probably out with a lady. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, oh, um, leave me alone, stop phoning, ladies. This you is like the, the best of, um, the best of, uh, last year, and we're gonna kick off with a, with a classic clip. Who can forget this? <laughs> <laughs> All right? So, like so just, yeah. yeah, then just we weave that in. Yeah? And then it'll come out of that, come into a record or something. So I come out of another record? Just, yeah. just one more, just in case I need it. Okay. Um, uh, oh, I don't know. Um, 
That was Bob the Builder there. <laughs> shouldn't, shouldn't really be playing that on XFM, but. Stupid car, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what <laughs> you're thinking, mate. You buffoon. Yeah, you're uh, like, Oh, okay, I oh, know. Ah, oh, great track. I love that. Yeah, beautiful. Um, wow, well, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. not wet with it. Yeah, no, come on, uh, let's get these right. He needs to use these next uh, Okay. Um, another great Can't track. we just do this what? later? We're, I've got to go. I've got to run away. to the airport. Yeah. Yeah, but this isn't gonna work. It's a mess. Well, just- it, Oh, yeah, well, like that. Well, that'll be fine then for this show. <laughs> <laughs> it can slot right in, Carl. Yeah. I'm oh, talking oh. of a mess, mate. Your competition. Yeah. It was a shambles today. I mean, last week we gave it the benefit of the doubt because it was the first time we'd done it, but you've got to think it through, mate. You can't be making it up on the spot like that and changing the rules. Yeah. I'm sorry, mate. I mean, I know you did it with the best intentions, but it was- it I was feel shoddy. worried that people think we get at Carl and everything, yeah. but, but that was a appalling. Yeah, it was I mean, terrible. It was, and it was sort of interminable. Like, gets, I think you've got to compress those stories. You've got to tighten them right he up. He gets paid to be like 30 quid extra oh. for this as well. So, I mean, it's, he's getting good money well, yeah. well, for well, it. Listen, right? You say what? that you've got to compress it, right? I, the way I look at that competition, it's like Columbo, right? <laughs> the murder bit at the end is done in like three minutes, but you drag it out for an hour. Yeah. <laughs> so you sort of make it exciting and like, oh, I wonder where he's going with this. Sure. And yeah. it worked. You know, Dee, Dee Hudson, she's walking away with the DVD. She's <laughs> laughing. <laughs> Yeah, but Dee's fine. She's the only one who's gained. Everyone else has had a miserable time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course she's happy. She's won something. But what about the listeners? There's yeah. no entertainment. Like, I mean, there. they're loving it now because me and Steve are on, and this is scintillating stuff. Yeah, this is dynamite stuff. You know, stuff. this is amazing stuff. Talking about we're not going to be here next week and doing next week's links. Yeah, because I can't be bothered to come in early. Um, okay, that. Uh, wow, excellent. Um, well, it's uh, that's quarter to two, Steve, on mm. XFM. One I've enjoyed this wonderful collection of <laughs> our greatest moments. Yeah, there's still more to come. You'll be next back. Well, next week, won't you? You'll yeah. Be I'll be back next week. Okay, I did the last one. Well, I hope you enjoyed um, some of the best of moments there. With uh... I'm not going to use these. Why not? Well, they're a mess. Forget it. Forget it. Well, forget it. We'll do them in a bit when you're done. I'm We've not. Got... Tell me, I cannot do it. When's your plane? It doesn't matter when the plane is. I've we can do it in a bit. I'm definitely not. I'm, doing not, it, I'm not wasting my time going through that. Well, so, so there won't be we'll any waste our time. Right, right, right. Forget it. My favourite suede song there. Stay together. Bye, suede. <laughs> Stay together. Well yeah. Well That's what you're being paid for. Well, no, because it could have been a suede song sung by Atomic Kitten. Sure. And like I said, that's my favourite suede song by Atomic Kitten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> you know. Thanks for that. Do you think this is the worst show we've ever done? Uh, no, I mean, we've done some god-awful shows in the really? past. Really? Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, some real grim ones in the past. Okay. Do, do you think people see through it even before we tell them that we're not really cutting the mustard, yes. putting the effort in. We, got, we yes. had nothing to say last week. No, I don't think anyone's fools. I think, really? I think people, some people are tolerating us because they quite like your TV work, but I mean, other than that, I think they and know the And we play good music. Well, I, we, don't, we, don't skip on, we don't skip on the tunes. But if know. I was listening to this, I'd be thinking I could do a better job. I'd be leaving. If I worked in like some, if I worked in like a bakery or something, <laughs> and I was like, I, I hate this job, and I'm, and I'm listening to us, you know, gibbing about on the radio, I'd be livid, I'd be angry. Really? Yeah. I mean, but if this uh, was a BBC show, I'd, I'd, oh, I'd go mental. Why? You know, Why? Well, because I'd be paying a license fee and everything. So oh, I'd okay. It would, it would feel like it was my money being squandered. But we don't have to. At least this it... is advertisers' money being squandered. Yeah. You know, this is big corporations. Screw them. <laughs> yeah. And people they haven't paid anyway, have they? A lot of them haven't. They probably yeah. paid for the batteries in their radio. Maybe if they're listening. Yeah, we're yeah. so sorry about that. Yeah. Um, I, well, I feel guilty just for wasting their time, Rick. But next week's going to be a clip show again. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be a clip Carl's show. That Carl's going to do. We decided that Carl's going to just do the links next week yeah. by himself. Or maybe just get a guest, a guest uh, hosting, maybe a, 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 you know, like, what was that, good? Dennis Norden? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a Norden type. You know, yeah. um, in the Sony Awards, you hand in one show, don't you? Uh, yeah. We could hand in next week's, couldn't we? Because it was broadcast in this year, just that it's a clip show from years ago. Yeah. You, you know, because you, you could hand in I Love 1975, couldn't you? In the BAFTAs or something. Yeah, you could. Yeah. <laughs> so, should we, are you, are you, you're even bored, aren't you? You're bored with this show as well. This is terrible attitude. I'm just. It, I we're thought, allowed to be bored. We're the we're the talent. I right? thought you were going to give us like ten minutes after the show to do them, but I can't. I've got to go. Yeah. Right. Do you want to wrap it up, Steve? Because Ricky's taxi might be waiting now. So no, it's listen to this attitude, Ricky. Are you going to put up with that? Don't you know who you are? I, I just don't believe it. They uh, they should be chomping at the bit to get. They, they should. I can't believe their luck. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Sure. Sure. And uh, do I get treated any different? Yeah. No. Yeah. Worse. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Answers on a postcard if you can figure <laughs> out what that <laughs> sentence meant. <laughs>
<laughs> and there'll be a DVD on its way to you. Listen, um, we had a, an email from Glenn and Sharon, and uh, Sharon was rushed into hospital last week, and they uh, wanted us to play something for, uh, I know she's back now and she's okay, but, uh, but anyway, uh, they always listen to the show, they're big fans. They asked for some Nick Drake, I'll play some Nick Drake next time, but, um, but instead I thought we could play a, a classic Dylan track. I know yeah. you're a big fan of Dylan. Yeah. Just like a woman, it's just beautiful, and, uh, and that's my song for the ladies. We won't see you next week, Ricky's away, but there should be a hilarious uh, compilation for <laughs> our best moments. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I look forward to that. Nobody. <laughs>